So next week, I'm going to be moving out into the garage full-time. Well, at the end of next week. I've already mostly moved out here. Only a couple more things to go. I've cleaned it up quite well, and a few new things have come along, too. Like, for instance, this McMaster car and Granger catalog. Now, my father's company got these, and they already have a bunch of them, and they order the same parts because they just use it to fix their printing presses. So they didn't need this, and they sent them to me. And that's just, oh, it's so cool. It's this year's catalog, too. These catalogs go for like $50 on eBay, or even higher. Because you, you have to order so much from McMaster Car in order to get the catalog. Otherwise, you just have to use their stupid website. This is great bathroom reading material, because most of the stuff I don't even know exists until I read it in here. I have no idea what these pieces are, but they look pretty fun. Almost like industrial Legos. Along with the catalogs, my mom also shipped out my batteries, my laptop batteries. These are the extra ones left over from whenever I bought the cells to make my first 24 amp hour, 24 volt pack. And I'm, I had to have them shipped out here because I needed the cells, as you can see, so I can make a 12 cell, 4 volt pack to increase the voltage of my battery up by 4 volts so I can use my BMS. And I have to say, I lucked out in the first battery, all 12 cells are good. They were all at 3.7 volts, and they're taking a charge really well. Last week, I had a big issue with my charger, so I had to go to run to Halted Electronics again and get some new components for it. But when I was there, I picked up a new projection bulb for my 16mm projectors back home. It was only a dollar for this brand new projection bulb, and I think they're like $10 on eBay. So yeah, that was pretty good. Back to the charger, though. This charger suffered from human error because all of the screws that hold the, the outside heatsink onto the transistors and rectifiers, they rattled loose after going, after the 200 miles I, I rode it, because, uh, let's see right now, 345 miles, that's pretty good. I hope to be reaching like two or 3,000 miles by the end of the year. Commuting with the tricycle sure does add up the miles. But yeah, so after about 200 miles of rattling, the screws came undone and broke the connection between the heat sink and the rectifiers and transistors. So some of the transistors cooked themselves, and so I had to get a new power supply. Well, whenever I had it open, I decided not to just make it like a, a, rep a repair. I also decided to fix some of the things I've been needing to do. So now I have the power switch working, I have the 5 amp circuit breaker working, and I cleaned up the resistor a little bit by adding heat shrink tubing onto it. So it's a little bit nicer now. I would consider the trike is now on version 1.35, but I hope to have it on 1.4 pretty soon. That's whenever I have the BMS and the new battery pack in the in here. I'll just stuff it in here or something like that. Plenty of room. A week and a half ago, I purchased a brand new metal detector, a Fisher F2, and I'm pretty happy with it. Unfortunately, I am kind of let down by California because in this area or at least in the immediate area that I can ride to on my tricycle you have to pay like fifty dollars at a park to get a license to metal detect it's like fuck that I'm gonna I'm going to extend the range and drive out to the middle of nowhere and metal detect where nobody else has metal detected before because first of all it's free and you get new interesting stuff so yeah that the video for that is already halfway filmed but I'd feel really bad for just making a video about unboxing. I'd really like to test the object that I unbox. So, I'm, so that video is waiting until I increase the range of my tricycle and I can ride out to the middle of nowhere. But when I was cleaning up the garage, well, I discovered this computer equipment that I now own because my landlords kind of pawned it off on me because they were going to throw it away. So I have this computer equip equipment now. But I found this telescope, and I'm going to offer to purchase it but I know what you're all interested in. You want to see the garage. So, let's open the door. And get some light in here. So here's the garage. My room. I gotta say, it cleaned up really nicely. I have this table. I have that bench. I have this table. It has my Apple Lisa and my VCR on it. And I have this table as soon as I clean off some of the junk on it. 
I still have a bunch of packing material to go through, like these peanuts, which I'm going to try to dissolve in water, and these, which I'm going to see about, I don't know, melting down or something like that, or just stuffing in the trash. But there's also just a lot more room for cleaning out. So I'm, I'm going to continue working with the landlords to make more room, and this is looking really nice. Now, a lot of you said that you think I should just rent the garage permanently. I think that might be a bad idea, because if I move back to one of the rooms, I'm probably going to keep the garage, too, because they, they, they said that they'll let me have a portion of the garage, and I don't care, even a small portion. So I would rather pick having a room and a garage than just, than just a garage. Now, good news about it, though, is evidently I misremembered our conversation, me and the landlord is discussing the price. I thought it was going to be $600 a month. It's only going to be $500 a month, so saving yet again another $100. So that's pretty good. And since I'm saving so much money, I decided I'm going to get myself a nice computer. So I ordered it this morning. It is an Dell Optiplex 7020 with an i7-4790 CPU. We're at 3.6 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM, RAM, 500 gigabytes hard drive, and I think it even has two PCIe slots. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the Optiplex series. I have an Optiplex GX 1100, and I love that thing. It's a little slow though, because it's from like 2000 or so. My favorite, all, my all-time favorite computer is an Optiplex 320, and it does pretty much everything I want, just a little bit slow, but it's very reliable. I have an Optiplex 720 that I've had a few issues with just the power supply, but other than that, the computer, once again, it's a really well-made computer. So I'd have to say, I'm really glad that I'm getting another Optiplex, and that's going to be my main rendering computer, because I'm going to be putting probably a 100 gigabyte SSD into it as a secondary drive, so any files that I'm working with for editing, I can put on the SSD so it can access very quickly. I don't really have to have a big SSD to put my main operating system on, though, because I don't mind waiting like 30 seconds for it to boot up, but oh well. I gotta tell you guys, he just missed me having a really retard moment before, though, because when I was opening this up, there was these tabs that were soldered onto each endpoint, and I was trying to rip them off. This is where these were soldered to. And I was kind of retarded, and I just, I grabbed my blowtorch, and I started just blasting the cells until the plastic started melting a little, little bit. And then after about 10 seconds of doing that, I was like, oh, shit, I'm burning a bunch of batteries. That's probably not a very smart move. So I turned it off and just ripped them off. But still, it's funny how your brain just doesn't think sometimes. It's like, oh, I'll just catch them on fire. Burn it off. Oh, well. That cat's name is Tiger. Oh, and there's that cat, Pikachu. I found out the most interesting thing about Pikachu. Pikachu is a very scared cat. If you walk near it... Oh, and also he's kind of deaf. He just doesn't like being around people. But, I discovered something interesting. If you have fried potatoes, he loves them. He's your best friend if you have fried potatoes. It's weird. I would have never thought that he loves fried potatoes. But, I had some extra that I was going to throw away. And he just like stalked me to the trash can so I gave it to him. Where'd Tiger go? Is Tiger back here? There you are, Tiger. Now Tiger is very similar to my cat Symbol back in Illinois. Tiger is a lot furrier though. So well. And Tiger has a drooling problem. Very bad drooling problem. If you let Tiger lay on your lap and just let him sleep, there will be a puddle of spit in your lap, similar to like if you had a dog sleeping in your lap. This is weird. My landlord say that he's always been like that ever since he was like a year old or whatever though, so okay, he just has a drooling issue. Ah, oh, see? He just rubbed his mouth up against Okay, well, he's lovable, but kind of disgusting at the same time. Back to this, though. I have pretty much all the parts I need to make this battery pack, except for one little thing. The connectors, these little quick connectors. So, 
I'm charging up my battery, just topping it off. It's, it's like at 85% charged. And I'm going to see about running out to Fry's Electronics and picking up some of those. Fry's Electronics, I don't know if I've shown you guys yet. It's an okay store. It It's a very big electronics store. Most of the employees don't probably even know what electricity is. They are no help. And it is... I don't know. It's a it's a step below eBay, but at least it's local and it's a place you can get parts like same day. So well. Okay, it is time to go get some shopping done. Fry's Electronics isn't very far. It's like five miles or so. It's up in Sunnyvale, so it'll be a nice little quick ride. This road is really nasty. Wolf or whatever it's called. Fuck that road, man. They whooped, whooped me around right bad today. That wind's really bad too. Let's see if they have a bike rack here. Here we go. Well, I realized that Halted is kind of right here. So let's just go in here and see what they have. They have some super capacitors that I was thinking about getting. Because I've been thinking about, well, I get a lot of people asking, or more like telling me that I should make a super capacitor battery bank for my electric tricycle. And then I, I keep having, getting annoyed by having to tell them why that's a bad idea. So I say, let's, I might just see about getting a bunch of super capacitors and trying to see how how much capacity or how much range I'd get with it Oh, look at these.
That's a beautiful tube. That's a weird cable. It's like cloth cover, but yet covered cloth covered plastic. Hmm. Those uh, super capacitors. It's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna get some of these. Weird. That's cool. What the fuck is that? Flux capacitor, anyone? <laughs> I'm still ha yeah. I'm still looking for a nice ribbon cable. You know, I really haven't actually spent a Saturday just walking around stores. It's, it's, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. I ended up spending about twenty dollars, but I got some pretty nifty parts. Well, guys, that was a very fun day, and this video is getting pretty long. I ended up getting four more projection lamps, so when I go back to Illinois, I can bring those back and put them with my projectors. They were a dollar a piece. Couldn't pass that up. And I picked up a little ZIF connector. You put a microchip in there and it'll clamp down on it. So you can put a chip in there, clamp it down, and then program it, and remove it, and put it into whatever you're putting the chip into. Same with this one. Just this is a push in, pry out instead of uh, having the clamp. It's like three dollars for both of these together. Like a dollar and a half a piece. It wasn't a bad price at all. And I picked up some more soldering tips. Because the soldering tip on my weller sure is getting eaten up. Well, hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. See ya!